Hey friends, on this Maundy Thursday, where we celebrate and remember the meal that Jesus instituted and gave to his disciples and to us, I'm here in the church kitchen because I want to talk to you about what that means. So, Jesus, all throughout the Bible, has been bringing God's presence directly to people. Now, we sometimes talk about God as a whole in this big, mysterious way of being everywhere. Now I have a cup of coffee here. That's pretty good. And if God is everywhere, then is God in my coffee cup? Well, technically, yes, God is everywhere. I also have some trail mix. Mm, that's good. I especially love the M&M parts. If God is everywhere, is he in my trail mix? Well, Yes, God is in trail mix, but on Monday Thursday, Jesus did something special. He put his presence in bread and wine for you and for your parents and for his people for a very specific reason. God is there for the forgiveness of our sins. And that's the difference. While God may technically be in my coffee cup, he is not here in my coffee for the forgiveness of my sins. He is not in my trail mix for the forgiveness of my sins. No, he is in body and blood, bread and wine for the forgiveness of our sins. He is in his word that is spoken to us and he's in the water and word of baptism. And he's there for a very specific purpose, to forgive your sins. And that's good news for you and for me because as we move through this Holy Week, Jesus is headed to the cross where he's going to die. But does he stay dead? No, that's right. He comes back to life and that is what we will celebrate on Easter. But for now, we can remember that God is in a very specific place for us, for the forgiveness of our sins won for us by Christ on the cross. Not here in just anything, but in bread and wine and water and word for us. Have a good Monday, Thursday, and I'll see you tomorrow on Good Friday.